First open your start menu and then open your settings. Click on system. Click on troubleshoot. Click on other troubleshooters. Find the keyboard section. Press run. Wait for your audio to be repaired. If that didn't work, now open start. Click on the settings button. Click on accessibility. Go to the keyboard section. Enable use the screen keyboard. Open Start and type Device Manager. Open your Device Manager. Expand the keyboard section. Right-click your keyboard and select Properties. Open the Driver tab. Select Update Driver. Click on Search automatically for updated driver software. Wait for your drivers to be updated. You can also click on search for updated drivers on Windows Update. Click on search for updates. Now wait for the updates to be installed. If that didn't work, expand the keyboard section. Right click your keyboard and select properties. Open the driver tab. Click on Update Driver. Select Browse My Computer for Driver Software. Select Let Me Pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Select Standard PS2 Keyboard. Press Next. Wait for your drivers to be updated. Press Yes to restart. If that didn't work, go back to Device Manager and expand the keyboard section. Right-click your keyboard and select Properties. Open the Driver tab. Press Uninstall. Press Uninstall again. Press Yes to restart. If that didn't work, first open Start then open your settings. Open Accessibility. Enable, use on-screen keyboard. Open Start and type Run. Open Run. Type the following command. Press OK. 
Now your keyboard should be working. If that didn't work, first open start then open your settings. Open accessibility. Open keyboard. Enable, use on-screen keyboard. Open start and type, task SCHD. Open task scheduler. Expand task scheduler library. Expand Microsoft. Expand Windows. Click on Text Services Framework. Press Enable. Press Run. Now restart.